guys and welcome back to our channel so today's video is going to be a diy project we haven't done one of these in a while actually i don't even think you guys have seen frank's face in a, in a while. while on this channel where have you been well simply etched is taking up about 90 percent of my time and then um i was at my parents for a little bit doing a doing a little bit of work but now i'm back home and getting ready to tackle this project because it's fairly simple it's in a budget. We always say that. <laughs> we always say it's fairly simple. It's and then it turns out to be longer. <laughs> theoretically, it's very simple and it's inexpensive. Yes, we're and doing this, on this is definitely budget friendly. So you guys, this is just, I've been waiting to do this project for a while. So we've been wanting to do something in our mud room because this is where the kids' backpacks are, lunch boxes. Well, actually we moved their shoes to the coat closet, yeah. but some of our shoes, coats, backpacks, purses, random stuff. It's and like the junk. Kind of. It's like kind of like Gathering the, space. Yes. But we realized that we like many other parts in our house that we have transformed and done projects on we weren't utilizing or uh, utilizing it as much as we could be yeah. so that's what this video is going to be about so we're going to show you guys the before of the mudroom kind of what our idea is and this is on a budget so we did get a few things for this project get some paint but for the most part i think we paid yeah two hundred dollars to be able to do that now that is before i'm buying extra stuff because i am going to get some extra hooks or some new hooks yes. for the mudroom and also probably a rug i would say the more expensive things right now is the wood and the paint yes wood is skyrocketing once again paint is still just as expensive as it was before and we're going to be also using the same paint. If you guys remember from Nolan's, Nolan's dresser. dresser video, I told you guys that I was going to save that paint for a different project, and that is this, is this project. So, all right, let me go ahead and show you guys before kind of what our game plan is. Um, Frank can show you what he got from Lowe's yesterday, yes. and then we're going to start clearing everything out because I tell you guys, before you can get started with anything, you need clear. a blank space. So let me try to give you guys a little bit of an overview. It's kind Wait, of hard. It? Oh, shoot. Oh, There's wow. a bar behind me. Wait, it's in my back. Okay. This stuff is just thrown all over the floor. It's actually a pretty small area. Let me back up just a little bit, try to get it all in frame. Um, I mean, I shouldn't say small area. It's actually a decent size, but because of just like the angle and everything, it's hard to show you guys um, the whole view of it. Let me see if I can try to show it more of here. You guys can get more of like an idea of the size. Um, so before we had this shelf right here, or hooks right over here but that got yanked accidentally off yesterday that's where all the kids backpacks and lunch boxes it's not a good thing because now we have to repair the holes but it's a good thing because we will not have anything on this wall again because we couldn't even close the door all the way hence why there's now this in the wall there was once a stopper here but we actually took them off because fletcher would take them off and he would Eat them eat them put them in his mouth and then like the little white piece at the end i was like okay this is a choking hazard so we just took them off and it actually worked out because this door couldn't even close all the way anyways because all of the stuff that was right here but since that fell and there's nothing here it went that happened yesterday mm. so we're gonna also repair that so the plan is is we are going to do lockers in here so because of how small this space is we are going to do two well it'll be a total of three imagine, imagine a, a divider here, a locker here yes and a locker at the end yes so and moving the hooks down so that the lockers will have enough for two of the kids to share if that makes sense like brandy said the plan is to kind of redo this whole area there's going to be three separate lockers raise this up to where it's only going to be basically used for the paper towel so it can go up pretty high just to make the lockers bigger just to make them bigger i almost wonder if you if by raising that we could put one hook on the top and one hook on the bottom so like let's say yeah. aria stuff there and then nolan stuff on the bottom there and then scarlet and harlow and then fletcher and then probably like my purse or something like that another no, not another baby. So um, we're kind of, we have a game plan, but you know, that could always change. You guys know how we are. We're not going to touch this bottom area. We are going to leave it the that same. Um, Frank does have to take this 
off. Yeah, the back, not only the shelf, but the the backing. Back, the backing. I got actually got another uh, piece of it yesterday at Lowe's. So that whole um, so will the whole be thing, thing will be paneling. I think I think doing the whole thing in the paneling, like making it uniform, will yep. also look better. I think so too, and also a fresh coat of paint, and then the inside area. So the parts that you see gray, or yeah, out, this, this yeah, part. that part will be the green color, and then imagine a nice rug in here. I think um, it's a circle rug, right? Circle rug, yes. And then some new hooks, probably gold. I'm thinking maybe some more storage baskets. We'll see. Yes. But first, before anything, we've got to take everything off. Got his trusty old crowbar, and it didn't even take that much effort no, for the right up, for really. the shelf to come right out. Which is really good because it's gonna be just as easy to put right back in. Yeah, because yeah, we're gonna be reusing it. We're basically just raising it up, essentially. Oh, bam! Just like that. You know, you said like we were talking about reusing it. One more thing we got to do is break these off and then shoot it with my nail gun again, and it'll be just fine. Then we're finding out that you definitely use a lot of caulking. Just like that. Oh my lord. <laughs> and a lot of nails too. Oh my gosh. They're like, this is not going anywhere. <laughs> if I didn't know, I would think that you put that up there. I know how you get it with the nail gun. <laughs> hey, I like my nail gun. All right, I'm gonna fix that. Well, the paint is going anyway. Well, we're gonna have to sand it. Wow. I see that. I well, I figured anyways because God, of how much see? of it, the caulking they added. That's a lot. So what I'll have to do is I have to fill in, in those holes too, and sand them down. Yeah. completely off so here's the huge panel the new panel that's gonna go on the back side Frank is just measuring it because he says that it needs to be 80 inches 80 inches which is about right about how much this that's panel close. so we did it at 80 inches because uh, Brittany said that she wanted it to go all the way to the top this time which I think is gonna end up looking better I think so. Well, it's gonna fit in here. Oh, that's so good. What's Daddy doing? Daddy's doing it off. Daddy turn. You want Daddy to turn it off? Yeah. It's loud, huh? Nails are going in. I gotta get the water out of this thing. I was gonna say, what is that noise? Is that water? Yeah, it's water inside of here. I don't know why, but nail guns make me the most. Ah! <laughs> I was like, I was gonna say nervous. So Frank actually just had to take it down and put it back up, and put it back up because it wasn't straight. So now it is back up. It is straight, and you're putting the boards back up around. Yeah. So basically, we just took the paneling off, put a bigger one to go all the way to the ceiling, and then we're reusing the wood that was on there before. The price of this makeover just went up $100. All right. <laughs> Cause I bought a rug on Amazon for the space, a round four foot rug. And that was $44. And then to buy really nice, 
heavy duty hooks, six of them was an additional, they were almost $9 each, but they're big hooks, they're not like small hooks. So those will get in tomorrow and then the rug won't get here until a couple days from now. I'm going a little over our budget, but it's not, bad. it's not that bad. Georgia looks like she's up to no good. Probably because she is. Georgia. Now, you better not be eating any of that. Not good for a puppy. Oh. Gun, my love. Here you go. Even though I hate this thing with a passion. Oh, it's all right. Hurt you? That's the noise. Huh? It's just the noise the that noise? gets me. Yeah. I wanted to show everybody this before I ripped it all out because what I'm going to do is replace all the caulking that's on through here that way everything's nice clean and white but look how much they used that's impressive let me see if I can get it all out to make sure everything is level and as straight as it can be. Yes. Before, it wasn't. Uh, oh, it wasn't? <laughs> no. What? No. So what I'm doing now is I'm doing the corners first and uh -huh. I'm going to have to go up this way to tie yeah. this back up uh -huh. into it. And this is just going to give it just a little bit more sturdiness. And then I'll come in and put my shelves in. Or not my shelves, but my Walkers. <laughs> Second boo boo of the day. This one was totally my fault. Oh my gosh, is that the drywall that's painting like that? Oh, yeah, it is. So, that piece that Frank is taking off, and by the way, it's pretty noisy now because the kids are at home, it needs to be all the way to the front. See that one? It's supposed to be all the way over there. So, first locker. Well, we haven't put it in yet. He's just uh, testing to see everything. see if it goes in there or if it's in there. It looks really good. I like it. I do too. That's good. Can I go get the other one real quick? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Show everybody a little preview. How does All that right. one fit? Does it fit? It's good. Yeah, I'll have to. Whenever I go up here and nail them down, it'll fit better. That's kind of how it's going to work out. So I want each one equally proportioned. So this to be the same size, this to be the same size, and that be the same size. All right, size. well, let me go get my tape measure, and I'll mark it, and I'll put a little few staples in it, and we'll go from there. Okay, that's your thought. this piece that is going to go on top or I guess in front of the dividers which I feel like oh, let me close this really quick I feel like this is going to give oh I did not mean for that to slam I feel like this is going to give it a cleaner look instead of just having just the regular divider Some of these gaps are gonna require a lot of caulk. Yeah, they really are. And that's not that's that's not even anything that we touched. That was from the builders right here. I don't know All if you guys of this can right see. Here? Yeah. yeah, we just took the caulking out to be able to do the project and everything, and to take that off <laughs> and to redo it. So that gap is definitely gonna require a lot. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just so hard sometimes to do these projects around the kids, especially because I get so nervous with all the different tools and everything. So I'm like trying to help, but also keep an eye on Fletcher. It can be kind of challenging sometimes, especially when we just want to eat and chew and bite on everything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tell me Fletcher was here without telling me Fletcher was here. Okay. All right, so Gate had to go up. Because Fletcher is being an absolute menace right now. He's just being a normal toddler, but it's like impossible to get anything done. So now you can caulk in peace. I'm trying. He's mad though right now. Yes, he He's so bad. mad. Daddy. 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 What are you doing? Huh? He's trying to find something else he can get into. You're my music, but you tear me to pieces. So oh, where does it come from? A scene that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb. Oh, where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from? So we got all of the caulking done for the lockers and then I had to go back in with some filler for where the old supports used to be, sanded them down. I think I'm gonna have to do that one more time on both sides and then I believe, oh God, oh Lord, I need to clean up my space. So I kind of can't wait to paint this because it already to me looks 10 times better than what it did before. Like not only the lockers itself, but with like that background going all the way to the top, it kind of squares everything out. Before the top was just the, it was blank. So I'm really excited to see how this project comes out. But like I said, everything should be almost dry and ready to paint. Also, you guys, here's a good perspective of how it will look when you first walk in. So now we are ready to paint. It is all nice and primed and sanded, ready to go. Got my roller and paintbrush. This is my job, this is where I come in. We are just using a interior and exterior high gloss by Sherwin-Williams. This is just their extra white, I will say, because I think this is the same paint we used in the kids' bathroom when I was painting the shiplap. Just be prepared to paint as fast as you can because it dries really, really fast. And I was noticing that when I was painting the shiplap and I was like, ooh, this is starting to get a little tacky. So just wanted to mention that, but this is our favorite white piece. It won't fade until you paint it black. I let it burn, you call the fire brigade, but I feel that it will come back. Oh, where does it come from? 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 Oh, But we're getting close. We're getting very close because now all of it is painted white. I even painted all this down here white for a fresh coat. And now we are going to paint the inside. You guys can see we got it all taped off. So we're using the same color that we painted Nolan's dresser with, which is I think called prickly pear or prickled pear, something like that. But it's I think Felspar. But I am basically just going to paint the inside of this cubby cutout. I don't know what you would call it. This top. The side, side, all the way down, and that will be it. And our hooks came in yesterday, so I ended up going with a gold hook. I'll leave the link down below for it, but it's a pretty heavy duty hook. We got six of them, so our plan is hook here, hook here, hook there, 
and then right there, right there, right there to utilize the space even more because there's going to be no way that we could have done five cubbies right here with how small this area is. So some of the kids will be sharing cubbies together, but they've already, they already know that they're okay with it. And then, you know, we still have plenty of storage, but anyways, okay. Before I go into all of that, we need to paint. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool So after Brett got done painting everything, we do have a little bit of touch-ups to do. We're gonna go ahead and hang up these hooks. So we're gonna hang these up in the center. Right here, we're gonna do one high, and we're gonna do one down here as well. So we have both hooks in the middle, and I'm gonna set you guys up, and I can knock this out real quick. So we got the first three hooks up and what I did was I used the outside of my level, went down 29 inches, made my line, did it for all three of the hooks. That way I made sure everything is lined up. Oh, shaking. That way I made sure everything was nice and square. So we're gonna go ahead and hang these up. Now. finally ready for the big reveal of the mud room so i think the last thing that we recorded was putting down this rug and since then we hung all the kids stuff up so we got aria nolan harlow and scarlet and then my stuff and then Frank stuff and then I think whenever Fletcher has like his own butt backpack or something we might put like a hook over on this side and maybe on that side we haven't completely decided yet so you guys just saw me put up these two canvas pictures I actually just picked this up from Target I picked up those two pictures this little plant over here which this little guy is a little bit smaller than I expected but it's cute he's gonna stay right there in the little corner and then I also picked up three of these baskets which actually fit perfectly up here so I have one full of travel stuff and then nothing in those. I still have to put some things in there and then our paper towels up there. And then we put those baskets right here which just have random shoes, shoes, <laughs> more random shoes. Let me show you guys a view from this side. I have the door open right now because when it is closed, there's actually, the lighting is not that great. I actually asked Frank if there was a way that we can turn this can light and get a like pendant light or I don't know some kind of better lighting in here the lighting isn't picking up on the camera but in person it's definitely a lot dimmer if that makes sense and then we also repainted this wall there was a lot of smudges you guys saw the two holes in the wall and then one from the door right here which that is back down there and a little trick is you can just super glue that together 
That way Fletcher can't take that little end piece off and put it in his mouth. I also told the kids if they wanted to, they could also put their shoes for the next day right here if they wanted to. I just didn't want to put a whole bunch of shoes right here and clutter the space. And I actually need to go through some of these shoes as well and put them up in my closet as well as Frank's closet. But yeah, this space is finally done. We absolutely love the mudroom. It just looks so much more organized. I feel like we're definitely utilizing it a lot more. I feel like I've said that so many times in this video, but I absolutely love how the lockers turned out once again did an amazing job. So that is going to be it for this video. Give us a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this DIY project. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave some more DIY project suggestions down below and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.